we're going right back to when you're a little girl and you would have had this ability and it would have spontaneously opened. It would have opened very easily had you heard the right words from a teacher, parent, kind of have to scramble back to the very first now and again and make some of those connections. And then we can come back to the here and now bringing those connections forward with us. Let's do the three minute yep. look at the plus. Okay, so go ahead and I've got three minutes. Okay, there we go. I love those colors. They work. Helps you get in your right brain. Green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, green, black, red, yellow, green, blue, black, blue, red, green. Take a few more deep breaths and let go. Just veg out, smile. I'm taking one of those colored dice. I'm putting it right in your screen. Just let go, go empty. Now remember, your mind sight always sees, always has, always will. You can't actually turn it off. It's a natural function. But the brain has pulled the plug as far as how the transmission gets over to your consciousness. So what we're doing is we're going around and plugging in the connections again now. We're flipping the switches on one by one, and it's working. So what number of dot or dots on the face? Five. Lift your mask up. Perfect. Now you got the five. Yes, I did. I, I, I saw an X, like a, the dot. I saw more the formation. I'm grabbing one and I'm holding it up in your screen. You may see a pattern on the front of dot or dots. Let go. Remember, no judgment, no criticism, no beating anyone's self up. Just loving yourself. You have to be compassionate and loving to that little girl that's learning. You'll be very kind and very understanding, very patient. Yellow? Yes, it is. Very good. With that same feeling of compassion for that little girl and understanding, how many dot or dots show up? Three. Lift up your mask. Nice. There you go. Very good. Very good. As you remember, there's five words. Each word has a unique vowel, and the three letters of each word are all unique letters. And I'm holding it up in your screen. You can look and see the whole word at once. Move your head around, sweep it so that you can scan and pick up the information. Be empty totally. Any thoughts that come into your mind, just let them be on their way. Don't get involved with them, but don't try to push them out either. Just going to report what I see, and that's it. Access your right brain. We're trying to make connections. Hip. Lift your mask up. Beautiful. Okay, and how did you see it? I'm waiting for it to paint itself, and um, I really just kept seeing the age. Okay, very good. I'm going to look around at these children's cards, and I see one that I'm going to grab. Putting it up in your screen, go to the feeling you had when you saw the H. Green snake. Lift your mask up. Beautiful. You're going to grab one of those dice. Look for a pattern on it of dot or dots. See yourself in this control room. Let's just pretend that this is the Mars rover. And on the big screen in the front, you want to see the picture of what the rover sees. So you direct everybody in the room to bring up the programs, to make all the connections, to bring up the picture on the screen. Now the technology already has it, but we have to get that on the screen for everybody to see. All of a sudden a picture starts out hazy, but it starts to come clear on the screen and it's like you're on Mars and you see what the rover sees. When you do that, how many dot or dots show up? Four. Lift your mask up. Nice. There you go. Okay. So you can see each time you get success, it's because you've allowed your connection to come open. You've got to get many of them because we want to build a stronger, stronger connection. Okay, but remember, it's not your imagination. It's what you actually see in your screen, and I'm holding it in your screen. It's a three-letter word of those five. I'm going to actually turn it upside down. 
Remember that some ways easier for your mind sight because your regular intellectual thinking can't get involved here. It says, well, that's too hard for me. I'm going to forget about it. And then your mind sight can come right through and you can see it. Gas. Lift your mask up. There you go. It's gas. Very good. Very good. I've got one of the seven symbols. I'm going to put it on the board here, that same clipboard. I'm holding the clipboard in your screen. So remember, there's the square, the circle, the triangle, open or closed, and then there's the plus. So that makes seven. So I want you to pretend you're out on the lake in the wintertime. The lake has frozen smooth, except there's a layer of snow that fell. Take a shovel. It's only an inch or two. Shovel it off and then go down on the ice on your knees and take your gloves and shine up the ice so that you can see through it. There is a card in the ice that's frozen in the ice. And when you shine up the ice and even move your hand as if you're shining it up, you can see perfectly this card that's frozen in the ice. It will actually show up in your screen. You will see it. It's not your imagination at all. Circle. Yes, it's a circle. Now, is it open or closed? I'm going to say open. Lift your mask up. Okay. There you go. There you go. Remember, each time is a brand new instance of this. And each time is a brand new connection. So it's easy to get frustrated and say, well, but I was seeing and now I'm not. Well, you're going to a new connection each time and you're building them up. So always remember that, that each connection that you have made is still there and you are building them so it makes no difference if in the very next instant you don't see it you have made a connection and so over time you are going to make hundreds of connections you have had success so it's not lost so we don't want to get caught up in individual successes or not that doesn't have anything to do with anything so I'm going to grab another one of the cards, the colored cards. Now remember, there's the pencil, the donut, the net, the snake, the ice cream cones, the umbrella, the key, the rainbow, the table, and the hat. Look for color, look for shape, and see yourself at the control center for NASA, millions of miles away, but a Martian lander. And it has a high def camera on it. And you have on Earth these deep space parabolic giant receivers that receive a very faint signal. And when you do all your magic and press all your buttons and run your program, you see a perfectly clear picture on the giant screen in front of you. Ice you cream. Lift your mask up. Right on. Now, that is out of 10 cards, Claudia. Nothing I said gave you any hint. I saw one cone. Your mind just made a connection, so that is permanent now. You have the connection. You can't just rely on one or two. They're there, yes, but we need to build hundreds of connections. There's yep. so many symbols. There's rows and columns, and there's four basic symbols. There's the square, the circle, the triangle, which are all open in this case, and the plus. Now, this time I'm going to move my hand around it, and I'm just going to stop and put my finger underneath one, and I'm moving it into the screen. Look for my index fingernail. It's underneath one of those four. Imagine seeing a nail, what appears above it. Square. Lift your mask up. Nice. There you go. Now, I've got one of those five three-letter words, and I'm putting it up in your screen. Just let go and just have fun revisiting the mindset that you just had where you saw the square. When you let go and you allow yourself to connect to your right brain. Mob. Okay, take your mask off. Wow. There you go. Very, very good.